they send they send it to me on this day and then the deadline had to be extended many times but at the end we found that we uh, most of them contributed uh, contributed articles about themselves and it i think we have got a book that's worth reading i'm not going to talk much about it because the deputy vice chancellor is going to talk about it and then say uh, what he thinks of the book so ladies and gentlemen i have a few thank thank yous to do number one i thank all of you who contributed articles to this book the idea was not to have a book written from a historian's perspective where you say this happened on this day this happened on this day possibly because of this reason but the, this book doesn't have that this, what this book has is stories about what people have done to achieve what has been achieved uh, one one good example as i was going to talk, mention this miris ganangihing business but uh, professor uh, pereira mentioned that before i did and he sort of stole my thunder. Uh, but Professor G.D.F. De Silva says that in 1983, he uh, had to take all the Tamil students and members of the staff to a camp. And then he had to find food for these uh, students and uh, the people who were there. So he negotiated with the local baker to get 50 loaves of bread. Uh, the baker agreed, but he said, you can't take it through the front door because there's a queue formed outside so they, if you, you have to take it uh, you can't show it to them so he had said yeah no problem so he was given the 50 loaves he put it in a box jumped over the parapet wall at the rear of the bakery and then the lady of the house started chasing him after him saying hore hore <laughs> so there are, there are wonderful stories like this and uh, so we are going to you are going to get a copy of this today uh, thank you very much all the uh, all the professors, distinguished people who contributed uh, who contributed articles to this, and also I must mention Namini Vijaydasa, a senior uh, journalist, uh, award-winning journalist at the Sunday Times, who went through most of the articles and suggested improvements to them. My thank yous would not be complete without a word about our printer. Uh, Mr. Sarat Gunawadana, he did a wonderful job. Printers print, obviously, but Sarat was different. I was in Australia, in Perth, and I had to, I have never met him. I have never met Nami either. Uh, so it was, uh, everything was on the phone and on the email, but he produced a book of this quality. Quite, and it was very easy to deal with him. He was, he cracked jokes, and then uh, all I needed to do was ask, and it was done. And Sarat, if you are here, thank you. I feel I have known you all my life, but I never met you. So, uh, look forward to having a chat with you. And uh, I also should mention, uh, not also, I have to mention the people who funded the printing of the book. It was a large sum of money. Arrow Care of Taiwan came to our rescue through the friendship of Mr. Justin Senimiratna. So they contributed the funds to print the book and we are really thankful to them. And in their email they said that this was their gift to the people of Sri Lanka and we are really thankful. And lastly, I forgot to mention somebody very important in the book who permitted me to spend a lot of time write, writing and then you know sorting out the things that are on the, in the book. That is my wife, my soulmate, and my friend. Uh, there are not three people, one person, Bernie. <laughs> I'm sorry I did not mention him in the book. Thank you very much. So hope you, uh, hope you find the book interesting, informative, and thank you very much for listening to me. I'd like to call upon the Dean Engineering to review the book, Mr. Kapila Pereira. Good evening, all of you. The chief guest for this occasion, Mr. Yudi Jayavardhana, CEO of uh, longest serving CEO of LTA Holdings, and Madam Jayavardhana, and uh, Professor KKYW Perera Vidya Jyoti, uh, our Chancellor, Professor Anand Jayavardhana, Vice Chancellor of the University of Moratua. All 
former vice chancellors, former deans, current deans, my fellow staff members, very proud and happy batch of pioneering 1966 at University of Moratua. I am basically filling in the shoes as the author said, there is always a first time. For me also first time, I have never done a review. Review in such a hurry, I had to fulfill this duty when I'm asked to do the honors on behalf of my good friend, my colleague, Deputy Vice Chancellor Professor Rahul Ataragi, who is just here with us sharing your great, great day and historical day of the University of Moratua straight from Lanka Hospitals. Right. When he called me, I did not know, I did not fathom what I had to do. I went and met him. He said, Machang, can you do this one? I said, sure, I can do this one. I read through this, and there are essays, stories. I will just take bits and pieces and then track jokes here and there and make you laugh. But he said, I have already sent you two links. You check your mailbox, then only I realize <laughs> how difficult, how tough the task is going to be. Nevertheless, according to the websites he produced me, reviewing a book is always personal. It's personal preference, I learn, as every one of us believe in this world who are learned and educated, we are humble learners, I learned today many things. What is this book about? The title, The Birth of a University. And the dedication is to all citizens of Sri Lanka who sacrifices both financial and personal have enabled us to receive a free education and to all staff and the students who would keep the flame burning, the flame we lit, lit 50 years ago. Right. The topic is that, the dedication is that, as Professor Atalagi advised, I have to take all these steps and keep the book away. I must have read this book at, at least once. Because I can't just become a joker in front of you, very distinguished, very prominent. All my, some of my teachers, some who had, who I had met many times in different walks of life, Therefore, I am not Kapila Pereira. I am representing the Dean Faculty of Engineering, so I cannot be a joker. If I take this book, is it just a piece of essays? No. I would like to put it in different perspectives. It is a mission. Mission impossible. As this 1966 batch of students who took the risk of not going or opting to join the physical science at Peradenia. Instead, unknown, not knowing what future is going to be, leaving a degree of physical science where it was written first 20, first 150, 
go to peradeniya next intelligent definitely going to do physical science at peradeniya but they got letters of invitations for the interview as the author himself in one of his articles said we meet we met all 17 what to do we have a choice choice to make take a risk you look at the people who took the risks if you don't take a risk you don't succeed you don't take a risk you don't succeed that is the name of the game that i learn that is the name of the game any kid on the block should learn want to their mission okay we come for the interviews we go for a five year practical diploma which is equivalent to an engineering degree not an engineering degree they took this risk they lit and made sure they converted this degree into this diploma which is equivalent to a degree into a real engineering degree not on paper not on paper but which is most demanded and as vice chancellor just mention what is in the store for the future generations from 24th of uh, 26th of september 2016 ahead as his article title forging ahead what he spelled out what is in the store for future generations from today onwards they had lit this lamp took the risk they were on a mission that mission somehow some way to achieve so this book needs to be read by the risk takers who had options which is written whereas you chose you are invited to choose and you are you could not resist the urge to come to moratua a village very it's not known the name monotua has other political interference supporting to this one but they prefer to keep the name katubad so this these rest takers if you want to if you want somebody if somebody somebody wants to read how you could take a risk and pursue your dream and achieve the goals it is about this one that these pieces of essays are these that is one way that i think about this one everybody talks about networking networking is also another jargon of words that is there if you want to see how the networks have fulfilled the dream of the risk takers it is here two people the director and the pm malvisaya and then professor kuruppu through his senior colleague at the school mr moxey prelis through his university colleague batchmate at university of colombo professor k k y w pereira then the these personal networks of mr pasar lingams mr p ed silvas dr p ed silvas professor p ed silvas mr dant vijay sekaras dr dant vijay sekaras professor dant vijay sekaras emeritus professor dant vijay sekaras vidya jyoti professor dant vijay sekaras professor g t ed silva then mr g t ed silva J R Lucases, Dr Lucases, Mr Lucases, Dr Lucases, Professor Lucases, Emeritus Professor Lucases, Mr Sam Karunath, 
Dr. Sam, Kar Professor Sam Karunaratna, Emirates Professor Sam Karunaratna, all these networks. That networking is a small beginning, built into big, big networks, had made this book titled The Birth of a University, a University of Moratorium. So, if readers want to know how many networks can become, uh, create dynasties, this is it. Then you compare the choices, two paths you choose as youngsters. For me, I can resemble that. For Professor Dante Vijay Sekhara, he can resemble that. And all the first pioneering lecturers, pioneering students, they can take two articles. One from It's not from memories. <coughs> it is 50 years in engineering, blending with UOM, Professor Lucas. 16th October 2016, you will be celebrating 50 years. Am I correct, sir? Okay, right. So that is one part chosen by Professor Lucas, in his article, 50 years, as a student at the University of Peradeniya, first 20, by memory goes correct, just skimming those things, and then student life at Moratua, then the postgraduates, this path that you have chosen, he has that article. Then the author himself, Mr. Remy Jayasekar, the birth and the earliest and his colleagues of 68 or 70. You drop zero, lucky seven. They had chosen that path, but they were the same advanced level. But they shared their stories and how, whether you are in other part of a university, other administration, where you had the prestige of University of Peradiniya then, not like now. It's the opposite now. Still, you cared for your classmates, batchmates, you got the invitation. And this essay of that, essay of Mr. Remy Jayasekara, is also a classic example of a review of this book that I am doing on us on behalf of Professor Atalege, my personal version that is the third version of revision. Because it says the radical changes that have taken place, people who have contributed, how this lab that was lit 50 years ago achieved this. Then the fourth aspect, the Monotua University has a resource base, base given the, in every page of this. Any youngster on the name of Inter-University Student Federation or opposite side of that to take cues from this one. How missions can be pursued with different strategies a struggles of Mahatma Gandhi's nature. How friendship, the Moratua University staff and the student relationship is very, very close, yet professional. That every bit of that is written here. All these students out in the streets taking struggles we have seen for education rights, Achieving education rights, this pieces of essays is providing food for thought, the strategies of our Vice Chancellor had strategies, goals, 
the enumerated for this one. And how humble in nature are the administrators. Unlike these days where people go after positions, where Professor Kurupe is asked to take the deanship, giving a call, he said he gives the same excuse I had given to Professor Vijay Sekara and Professor Anand Jayavadra when I was asked to take the direct ITUM. I have two little children. My wife is not serving in Colombo. He had given the same excuse and then uh, Dr. Sumanadas has managed to convince Professor KKYW. When Professor KKYW takes the nerd chairman, he gives a pulse to that network. Then many people talked about entrepreneurship. The vice chancellor had then had called the entrepreneur. Mr. Moxley Prelis, a Fulbright scholar from Indiana, Purdue, I think. He says, I recollect, he had asked, why me? When I am asked to do industrial engineering, he said, why me? I also asked, why me? There are so many senior professors, if you remember, sir. There are so many senior professors who take this direct ITM. Why me? Professor Anand Javadra put a hand in his one thing. He's a great perseverance person that I have met. I recollect times. This is very important. When my lecture rooms, discussions used to stray away from the syllabus topics into general discussions about the role and status of engineering graduates in the country and the students own longer term career objectives and vision for themselves. I could sense that at least among the more informed and the ambitious students there was a feeling that their longer term prospects as engineers were not as rosy as the admission at the start of the degree program. Being away from my varied experience and career changes, they seem to be keen to discuss and even argue with me about such matters. They may even have considered me to be a freak, having changed my career in midstream from the engineering industry to the banking and finance. This is very true then. This is still true now. It says, uh, it was in this context, I recall being somewhat controversial by encouraging the young students to think beyond engineering and not have the goal of being just a chief engineer, who unfortunately in this country will be on tap but never on top. So, this essay is full of, if you want to build on engineering, which is essential, don't, I, it doesn't say don't do engineering, but do engineering, but be entrepreneurial and others. Did I enjoy this book? The website Prof. Atala gave, gave me. A reviewer should say, did the reviewer enjoy the book? With your permission, I would like to say this one. The 1966 batch, they, came, they had come to university, but they had stayed in the hostel. Hostel where these NDT students were. And then 
they had the first exposure of ragging. And then this ragging had lasted nearly two weeks. They write, the author writes, new students are expected to perform all types of humiliating acts at the command of their senior students. Fortunately, at that time, alcohol was not a part of this initiation. Mainly, I suspect, because we did not have money to buy alcohol. The ragging included singing songs, making speeches on rather silly topics, being naked in front of an audience, or performing endurance activities such as running and push-ups. So this author's writes a sense of this nature. How Bandaya helped them with this alcohol. How Bandaya had given them cigarettes. And interest, interestingly, this one is also interesting. During our first year, three local lecturers were recruited. These students did not have money. The first full-time lecturer of CCT was Mr. G.T.A. B. Silva. By the way, when he was asked that he was the longest serving vice chancellor, I also, when I was reading, oh my, I think it's Professor Diantha Vijay Sekar, he's longest serving vice chancellor in the country. This must be in this one. He said he would like to be remembered as not as longest serving vice chancellor, first assistant, uh, first lecturer of CCT. But that is different, but what I want to say is that these students had, they would like to go to the canteen with the lecturer. Why? Sometimes we would invite lecturers, especially visiting lecturers, to have, to have tea with us. In the canteen, knowing very well that they would pay the bill. That is not the story. One day we invited Mr. G.T.A. De Silva. He joined us in the canteen and we all had a good feat, but at the end he thanked us and walked out saying, what good host we were. <laughs> now we were in trouble and we had to hurriedly make a collection to pay the bill. At the middle of the first year, the mathematics lecturer, Professor Funk, left the college unexpectedly and GTF took our mathematics lectures for the rest of the year. So our story goes on. Then this Miss Indra Jayasri, who joined. The story about Mr. Indra Jayasiri is that was not very much older than us and she, she took our physics tutorials. As to be expected, we used to give her a hard time during the classes and when she could not take any more, she one day threatened us saying, remember, there is going to be an exam between you and me. Likewise, I enjoyed this book. You all can enjoy this book. If you are looking for humor, if you are looking for how 1920 young, mischievous, vulnerable, less affordable, yet bright kids come to unknown town, basically a jungle, and take this country to a Estab help establish the course, help the course of establishing the most sought after university, as Professor Anand Jayawardene in his article says, that you can share. Any policymaker who thinks today the item where you want to admit next qualified level of Students from the A-levels, just like this physical science, bound 70 students, then there is football thought in this one. 
I said resource base. Resource basis, as our vice chancellor knows, we all try to get information about what you had done for the annual report. Just like the author mentioned, it was from his batchmates, it was most difficult to get information. But in this book, for us at Monotu University, we have wealth of experience composed, a data bank. If you want to talk IP, if you want to take mentoring, you read this one, where are they now? And I saw this one. L.M. Walpeter. Sorry that I'm, going to not, I'm not going to read all these people. And he has this equation about Big Bang. So he has authored and co-authored over 40 publications and seven patents. Work cited in Google Scholar, he has taught graduate and blah, blah, blah. Mr. Val, uh, the current L.M. Walpita is enthusiastically concerned, concentrated on electrical pulse propagation in space and working to prove that Big Bang is totally an electrical phenomena, periodic, and will recur in 0.5 to 1.5 trillion, I'm sure Professor P.H. Silva is going to jump onto this one. So I said, everybody has, young or old, can afford or not, can, cannot afford about Mr. Saman Nadirvira's caliber in the highest echelon of think tanks, the resource base is there. If you want to mentor people, if you want to see multi-talented people who are the vice chancellors flying 300 feet low taking the risks, as Professor Kurupu taking the aerial waves then, all stories are here compiled. I can go on. The imports of curriculum change, or change for that matter, change for that matter is very interesting. It says, in the world beyond some of the most well-known figures in engineering, especially electrical, where they had to hotly, de they hotly debating the semester base, basis introduced at the University of Morocco from January 2001. It's about change this author has written. You figure out who it is. Ampere. I'll not read the whole list. I learned this afternoon. Current topics must be, must be introduced in the new curriculum. That is Ampere. I take one by one. Kelvin. Do not let the temperature rise as otherwise heaven will become hell. More, there appears to be too much substance in the curriculum. Candela, the new topics light up the curriculum in the eyes of the students. Likewise, Joule, with this present energy crisis, Chairman CV is here. See whether you cannot harness the energy of lighting, lightning, which would be very environmentally friendly. Likewise, this book has many things to enjoy. Rich reading, many versions. You are like you like a person's legacy. Vice Chancellor talks about. So there is history before 1966, history after 1966. Ladies and gentlemen, I in my own ways, personal ways, this is my review. Professor Atalake, my dear friend, I hope I did justice to you. Thank you very much. For the event, and now it's time to let loose and let the spirit run high as well. The band is here, they are known as the musical engineers.